Our brains are absolutely amazing. The roughly 100 billion neurons in your brain communicate through electrical charges, and this electricity can be measured by an EEG machine. But more importantly for your own experience, I'm going to show you how to recognize the different brainwave states so you can experience and identify these states of consciousness when you're in meditation. As you can see in this chart, within each brainwave pattern, there is a range of frequencies. Since you probably don't have an EEG machine sitting around, these brain waves on this chart won't do you much good. So it's important to learn how to recognize and achieve these states instead. So we have five brain, brain wave patterns that can be measured. The first is gamma. As you can see, gamma waves are fast, high amplitude brain waves. They quiet the emotional brain and your self-editing functions. Not much is known about gamma waves because they are more recently discovered. But we do know they're quite rare and there's some techniques you can use to train them, but none of them are very easy to do. And it takes a foundation of uh, regular practice of meditation before you can really start to, to work in the gamma wave territory. So they're basically associated with like brilliant insights, strokes of genius, that kind of stuff. So it takes a little bit of practice to develop them. Beta waves are associated with our normal alert consciousness. High beta waves mean that we are agitated, anxious, or stressed. Stimulants and coffee keep us in this brainwave state by suppressing alpha waves and keeping us on high alert. So essentially in meditation, what we're doing is we're observing the constantly agitated and thinking mind. And by just observing the mind and essentially detaching ourselves, like detaching ourselves from this, this constantly cycling, chattering mind, we actually are able to, to um, slow down our brainwave state and leave the beta range and get into the alpha range. Alpha waves are really important in meditation because they're associated with being relaxed and alert. When we enter the alpha brainwave state, we become much more creative, insightful, intuitive, and we get a feeling of creative flow or being in the zone. So usually after meditating for 10 or 20 minutes, your thoughts will start to really quiet down and you will feel this sense of relaxation and calmness sweep over your body. This is because you have moved from a beta to an alpha brainwave state. Low alpha brainwave states are deeply restful and they can usually only be attained with eyes closed in meditation. The flow states are usually associated with high alpha. So you're energized, your eyes are open, you're, you're immersed in an activity, but you're completely um, in this, in this kind of, sort of this zone. Theta brain waves are associated with the hypnagogic state, which is the state leading to sleep, where we, ha we are halfway between being asleep and being awake. So essentially they're unconscious um, most of the time. So a lot of us aren't aware of the theta state because probably if you think about when you fall asleep at night, you don't really usually remember that, that moment or that time, that, that, that period you were in before you fell asleep because your conscious mind basically, um, usually it, it quiets down, is not aware in that state and you drift off into sleep. From the theta brainwave state in meditation, we can actually get to this state and be conscious. Um, and in this state, you can basically achieve conscious dreaming, like lucid dreaming and astral projection. You've probably experienced this, experience, this uh, state in your own life in states of extreme relaxation, where you are conscious, but dreamlike imagery is still flowing through your awareness. This state can be achieved through meditation and intense visualization. Delta brain waves are associated with deep, restful, and dreamless sleep. We only enter this state for a short period each night, and it actually remains very mysterious to Western science. As for meditation, I think what meditation does is it improves your sleep. I think part of what it does is it actually increases the amount of time you spend at night in this delta state, simply because you have less to kind of impede you from getting in that state, less stress, less agitation, less tension in your body 
that would maybe prevent you from reaching this really, really deep state for a long period of time. So the most important brainwave state to pay attention to is alpha. These brainwaves recharge your brain with new energy, and through regular meditation, they will dramatically increase. What I find really interesting about alpha brainwave training through meditation is that it allows you to eliminate most of your stress and disrupt negative brainwave patterns. Traditional stress management usually tries to help people establish new behavior patterns, but alpha brainwave training, which is essentially synonymous with mindfulness training, focuses on eliminating obsolete patterns and habits which lead to the stress or negative behavior. So the way it's done is through meditation, you become aware of yourself, your body, and your environment. Being able to enter an alpha brainwave state through your own conscious effort, it then becomes possible after a couple months of training to get much deeper creative insights into problems. And you can also stay relaxed and focused in stressful situations. So basically, by entering the alpha state, your brain actually, uh, scientists believe, reorganizes itself to be more optimal. So if you can get in this state more often, a lot of your stresses and these negative behavior patterns are going to start to loosen up and actually decrease. The problem is most people can only sustain a high or alpha brainwave activity when their eyes are closed. However, studies have shown that experienced meditators can slow down their brainwave through conscious will and access extremely high alpha brainwave states while their eyes are open in normal everyday awareness.